Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, doing another video. This is pretty much just me talking about my 2022 New Year's re resolutions and if I follow through with them or not. And tomorrow I'm probably going to do what my New Year's resolutions are for 2023. And let's get on with it guys, we don't need to waste any time. Let's go. Yarn at the beam. Welcome back to the channel. The first resolution I had was to practice Spanish for more. <laughs> and I did not follow through. I didn't even, I don't even think I practiced Spanish at all. Like, after I said I would. Um, yeah. And then I also moved from Vegas, so. You remember, I did say I want to use Vegas as a learning tool because there's a lot of Spanish speakers there. Did not stay in Vegas long, so after that. So, yeah. Did not follow through with that one. That's all right. I actually want to focus on my Korean more now, but we'll see. We'll see. Not to make any promises yet. And the second one is take care of my body and health. I think I improved a bit this year. Um, I definitely gained a little bit of weight, which is a good thing because I'm a little bit underweight sometimes. Um, but I didn't really do that much of a good job working out. Uh, kind of fizzled out by the end of the year. But that's all right. I did a lot of moving, a lot of transitioning. So I take that as a, you know, okay goal. Um, so I just want to try to improve it a little bit more next year um, and see what happens. And then my next resolution, number three, was be consistent on YouTube. I count that as a success because I have not really missed an upload date at all. I've been uploading every week. I didn't miss out one day this year. Um, and I'm even making it through Vlogmas. Like This is like one of the last few days of Vlogmas. I've literally vlogged every single day that's crazy so i think it's been a good year for uploads yeah and my next resolution was to be more fashionable mm -hmm. i think i'm slacking in that department um i did get a chance to slightly start changing on my wardrobe um and i've been doing my hair a lot a lot more frequently um uh, kind of fizzled out by the end of the year kind of just left my hair a little nappy but that's all right um yeah, so I think I was doing pretty good with that. Okay, and then resolution number five, which is the second to last one, um, was to work on my writing and music more. So I think I actually did great. Um, so I met my music manager this year. So I actually went to the studio for the first time, like a professional studio, so that's cool. And then... Uh, I got professional edits done for my book. I'm in like the second round of uh, revising. And then I have an actual release date for my book, which is October 14th, 2023. And then the last resolution was actually follow my monthly goals that I write in my bullet journal. And I think I did pretty decent. Um, did a better job in the beginning, but it's all right. I did pretty decent. And those are my six resolutions. Um, so that means I only followed through with two out of six, like fully. But that's all right. That's all right. I don't. I did say I wasn't gonna hold myself super accountable for the resolution, so, and I didn't. So, yeah, we'll see. Next year might be some more good stuff. I have um, some really big hopes for next year, so I'm excited. And guys, comment what, what your New Year's resolutions were for this year, if you guys want to. I want to know. But thank you guys for watching this vlog, this vlog. I'll see you guys in the next one.